Hi guys, welcome to Webcam Chronicles. I am your host. Today we are going to be doing some Inspire Candy Looks based on your holiday candies. Um, I see a lot of influencers doing a lot of makeup for smoky um, eye autumn looks. So I decided, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. Let's do some inspired looks with candy. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our blank canvas. That's me. Blank canvas. I've already cleaned my face. Now I'm going to go in with my dollar store brand of coconut oil moisturizer by Spa Naturals. I have been using this for quite a long time. And I feel like you always don't need a lot of high-end products to clean, moisturize, hydrate your face. A lot of those products are cruelty-free, organic, but there are also chemicals in some that are really strong. So. I am old school, so I like to stick to the basics. Okay, so now that we have a clean canvas, let's just get into it. Okay, guys, so in this section, we're going to be doing our eyeshadow primer in Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. I received this product in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. Um, so this is what we're going to use to prime our eyes. Now that we have our eyes primed, let's go ahead and use Clarins of Paris 01 Velvet Lip Protector. And also, all products used will be listed on the description at the bottom. Since I've been taking an esthetician uh, class, I've been pretty much doing the steps that they use in the class. I always did makeup, was familiar with makeup. I knew the application of makeup, but I just didn't never film makeup. I did friends makeup for uh, parties, for gatherings. Um, but really, when I was growing up, you just took pictures. You didn't film the things that you could do. Um, so here we are. Now we've primed our lips. We've primed our eyes. Now let's move into priming the rest of our face. I'm going to use the Milani Prime Perfection. And I don't feel you need to put it all over your face. You just need to put it in those spots that are either too dry or too oily. I like to use the recommendation of professional makeup artists. And for me, it has helped me perfect my eyeshadow looks and although I'm using a webcam I do take uh, close-up pictures um, after I've completed a look 
Okay, so we've primed our lip eye, eyes, we've primed our lips, and we've primed our face in the places that we feel or that I feel that I need more moisture, more hydration, more um, silkiness, more dewiness. <clears throat> In this section, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil Crayon in Dark Brown. First, we want to shape our eyebrows in the way we want our pencil to go. I am a person that likes to keep a really natural eyeshadow and eyebrow, excuse me, eyebrow. So I'm going to go in with the slanted portion to just fill in on both sides. That slanted portion gives me just the right amount of product to fill in my eyebrows and still keep my natural eyebrow look. And these, this is how my eyebrows will look. As you notice, or as you probably can tell, I really don't have an issue with uh, my face. I've never, um, fortunate for me, I've never had a problem with acne, um, scarring, uh, large pores, or anything like that. But as I've aged, I've had the issue with just darkness around my eyes. So now we're going to go into correcting the eyes with the Sai Concealer. And this is in the color Golden Dorado. And again, I take all the product on the back of my hand because I've learned in my class that you should never double dip after you've done your eye and then stick it back in because it creates germs and you might as well just throw the product away. So again, on the back of my hand, we're gonna use the product here. I'm trying to get this lighting down because I look really bright here, but I guess after the video is done, we'll see how it looks. And I always wasn't sure, 100% sure, was it okay to use your fingers to correct across your face. But I see a lot of professional artists use the finger to make corrections. So that's what I'm doing. And that's what I've learned not to double dip into the product. And sometimes using your finger is the best medicine.
as you can see, this product is really good for me to go in and correct the dark spots under my eye. And this is also uh, what I'm going to use for my foundation, excuse me, using the same product for my foundation. Again, all products will be listed in the description. So now our canvas and concealer and foundation is pretty much complete. Okay, so now we're going to go into with our brushes. These are the brushes that I use. This is Artesian's Easel brush stand with 18 brushes and they are from shiny these are really very good brushes you can get them off amazon and they are really high quality in this packaging this is what our easel looks like as you open it up it also turns into a stand so this is what our brushes look like so right now, I'm going to go into my shiny brush with my large flat tapered brush to contour my eyes. And set my concealer. This is not a foundation, oh, excuse me, not a foundation brush. This is not a eyeshadow brush. This is just a brush to help set that concealer so we don't have any creasing. And I don't know if you can tell I try not to use a whole lot of product because I don't really need it. I know some people have to use a lot of product, but I don't. And so, this is how it looks now after setting. In this section, I am going to be using my Shani brush. And this is the Deluxe Angled Brush. This is the brush I'm going to use to contour and highlight and the product I am using is my faithful LA colors makeup contour palette I'm going to adjust the brightness just a bit. And hopefully it 
that'll help just a little. And you also want to go in, when you go in, contour your neck, your ears, because everything on the top needs to be and should be the same shade or as close to the same shade as possible. Okay. Now that that's done, we can go in and start our eyeshadow. Okay. So we just thin that color out. For my eyeshadow, I am going to be using my Morphe I Got This brushes. Four piece eye brush collection and this also came in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. I understand I watched an influencer says that she's not interested in subscription packages like that or she doesn't like that. Um, for me, I'm not a person that's going to go out and shop for items I don't know nothing about. So this is a way for me to try different products before I actually buy full size versions of them. And I can say that for eyeshadow and contouring, these eyeshadow brushes are great. And the shiny brushes that we spoke about um, previous, these eyeshadow brushes are great as well. So now we're going to pick our color and we'll be right back. Now I'm just taking my brush, just kind of clearing the rest of that face. Okay, now we're ready for our next color. I'm going to take my Let's get our next color. I like to be organized. I can't be looking for stuff. Okay. So I have three BoxyCharm palettes and I'm trying to decide on which one I want to use. This one is Essence 2 by Violet Boss. And these are the colors and this is what it looks like. This is the Spanglish. And these are the colors. And that's what it looks like. This one is by Siate London. And this is the packaging, and this is the editor's palette, New England. And this is what it looks like. So at the end, you'll see the inspired candy, holiday candy look that I'm going for. But I'm trying to figure out what color to use for my highlight or shimmer. 
it's really pigmented it's really shimmery but this one is kind of too dark for what I'm going for <clears throat> and that was in the Spanglish this one has the colors I'm going for but they're a little bit darker than what I'm trying to achieve very pigmented and I'll be doing a tutorial using all of these again <clears throat> but I like to break the tutorials down um, into sections so you can get a gist of um, what I'm trying to achieve what will help you and I like to stay organized. So we'll be right back with the next color, the next shimmer. For my first color and my first brush, I'm going to go in with my Shani ES007 pointed smudger brush. And this is what it looks like. And for this color, I'm going to go into my iSeek, make it easy and possible. And the color of choice first is going to be this this one right here. And you want to saturate your brush thoroughly and tap it off, not blow the product. So this is a color that's going to go all over my eyelid. Saturate, tap, and contour the other side. And I'm doing this step by step for today. I have done a step by step in the past a few weeks ago, but every now and then I'll do a step by step. And we're going to do the same, use that same color for our bottom lid. It's not going into our waterline. And so we're going to take our brush again 
which I don't know what I just did with it. We're going to take our brush and smooth this out. We'll be right back. And now we smooth that out. Now we're going to take our Conceal It LA Color Primer and Concealer. Apply it on the back of our hand. We're going to grab our something on my eyelid. Our Morphe brush right here and we're gonna put that concealer where we want that highlight to show when we do our shimmer And you grab a little bit and then smooth it back out. Grab a little bit, smooth it back out on both ends. You want to always check also to make sure you're gliding in the right direction, not using the pointed part, but using the angled part to glide across. I must admit, the right type of brushes do make a difference in how your eyeshadow comes out. Okay, now that we've got that done, we're going to go back in and do a little bit more priming on our lids. And now I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's like a taupe color. I know some influencers like to add their shimmer last, but I have this eyeshadow book along with the class that I'm taking that says your shimmer should go on first now again everybody you do what's best for you the way you like it but since i am a novice and a professional beginner per se i like to put my shimmer on first and then start adding my color so We'll be right back with adding our next color. Okay, so the next color I'm going to go in is with this, and it's the color bronze. It's just a bronze color. And we're going to look with our mirror. Um, since we are on a webcam, we're going to look in our mirror to see how this looks.
and the way that I add my shimmer is I start where I want the highlight to go in then I go up and put that color right in the corner of our eyebrow go across go up and right in the corner almost like a Z effect so now I'm gonna go in and do the other side tapping looking going across going up flipping my brush for the extra product and then just bringing it right into that corner across up and I'm going to get a little bit more tapping it out and go right into my corner so you see I've already added my shimmer where I want it to be And now I'm going to take another shiny brush and we're going to thin that out. Okay, in this section I have my Fantasy Changeable Pigmented Palette. And this is what it looks like. And this is a palette from Amazon as well. And this is a really good eyeshadow palette. Then I have my Beauty Glaze Color Fusion Over the Rainbow palette. and this is what it looks like it's really pigmented and again my eye seek palette make it easy and possible 45 colors and that's what it looks like so i'm going to be going in with all three um let's see I'm gonna open all of these to see okay I remember now okay the first color we're gonna go into is our deep orange color and that's this color here and we're gonna do step by step one color at a time tap it out and we're gonna start in a circular motion Just bringing that in. Again, we're going to start at the corner, circular motion, because we want most of our color to be at the end, and bringing it in.
bring it in. Okay. Okay. And we're going to take our brush. This is our Shani Flat Blender Brush. And before that, I used the Shani Pointed Eyeliner Brush. Just going to blend that in. Just like that. So I'm going to keep these two in front of me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now we're going to use our tapered blender brush. This is E8004. And this was EB002 our flat blender. And EL004, our pointed eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna go back in with that color really quick. Tap it out and excuse the sound. Another influencer suggested something you could get to put on your table so it would be soundproof. Something was on my nose. Okay, so now we can go in with our tapered brush. And I had something, see this is why I take an intermission because I don't like to look for stuff. So we'll be right back with our next color. Okay, now we are ready for our next color. And I'm still going to use the eye seek, and I'm going to take this dark, almost burnt burgundy color. Doing the same motion. Tapping it out. Using that same motion. And do the same on this side. And taking our blender brush. I'm going to clean that excess and just blend it out. And that's our third color. Okay, so now we're going to go into our darker shade that's going to be almost close to a dark brown. And I'm going to go back with my Morphe brushes to add that darker shade. And so for that darker brown, I'm going to mix my Fantasy palette. And I'm going to use this color here. Again, 
tap it out. And just add it in the corner. Tap it out. Add it in the corner. Now I'm going to go with my thinner brush again and clean the excess off that and then go with this dark brown. Mixing those two together now. Mix those two together, tap it out. And just put it right there at the end. You know, always one side comes out looking better than the other. Same thing, we're going to take our blender brush and just blend it in. Okay. Now we're ready for our contour, excuse me, our contour our shimmer, our contour, our shimmer, and we're going to go in with our blush. Now, I'm going to go in with just a drop to clear those edges. Okay, so now we'll go in with our shimmer and our contour, our highlights, and our blush. I did one eye of my liner off camera because I use eyeshadow and I use Maybelline Define a Line. It's really creamy and it's really soft. So I use a eyeshadow to go in so it what doesn't run. And I'm using this black here in my eye seek palette. Tapping it on my wrist and making that brush seamless.
and I'll go back over this eye as well. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. And I'm going to use my shimmer. For the shimmer, I'll be right back with the shimmer. Okay, now we're back. I'm going to use my Violet Boss eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to use the bronze color. But first, I want to go back in with my or with a concealer so I'm gonna use the honey beige conceal it and CC 574 again applying it on the back of my hand this time I'm gonna go in with it with the shimmer why I had that brush in my hand I'm putting the highlight on, excuse me, putting the highlight on the brush, the concealer on the brush, and then the highlight. Blending it out. It looks like it's going to look darker than I want it to, but we'll see. Okay. I'm probably going to go in and type this in because there is a lot of outside noise from my balcony I'm facing the freeway. So right now it's a little bit of noise. So we've completed our look. For our eyeshadow and our shimmer. Now we can go back in again. With our contouring, highlighting.
and our blush. Now I'm going to go in with my contour stick. contour our nose I'm going to take my highlighter now I have to find a brush mm. and this is my this is going to be also my nighttime look because normally, just based on the class that I'm taking, you wouldn't use a highlighter during the day. And I don't highlight the cupid's bow. So we'll go in, blend it on out. Now, as you can see, I'm using the angled side to blend. the sunlight and my lighting is making this really, really bright. So, of course, I'll just have to take pictures after. I'm completed this look. <clears throat> and so now I'm going to take my artesian color baked blush in Brick House number 8315 and this is from um 
This is from Black Radiance. It's been said that whatever your um, blush is, it should also match your lipstick, not your eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this color as well as this light orange and mix the two. And yes, I do use eyeshadow for my blush if I can't find the shade that I like. So I'm patting it out on my hand. I want to get more of that orangey color because that's what my lip color is going to be. And you just patting it on like that. Just patting it on. Turn it over. Just pat it on. And just blend it out just a little bit. I want to take um, a little bit of lighter contour powder. And just kind of lighten our face just a little bit. Let me get the right blush in to wipe my nose. Now I'm just blending out my contour. Got my nose blending out the contour around my nose. Getting a little contour highlight. It's a different finger, I guess. Okay, blend that out a little bit more. So now 
I'm going to take that last shade and Add that last shade that we used for our eyeshadow. And put it on the bottom of our eye under our waterline. Blend it out. And now you're going to take that same color, same brush, and do our waterline with eyeshadow instead of the mascara. Excuse me, instead of the eyeliner. Just smoke it out. Okay, now we're ready to bring the rest of that out. I think I did a little bit too much on this side. So I'm going to take that. Just kind of wipe it down just a little bit. Let's look close up to our mirror since my lighting is so bright. It actually looks really good. It really does.
I love the seamless, seamless lines. I love that. And just a little bit more. That contour. I know you really can't tell what that looks like, but it's really, really pretty. And so once I put my video together, you'll see how that came out. Okay, so now I'm ready for my lip color. If we primed the lips earlier, so let's pick. I am going to go in with two shades because the colors are orangey to match your cheek color, not your eyeshadow. So, again, with my palette, I'm going to go in with a brown and an orange and my method i just started doing this um a while ago is to outline i don't overline i've asked some influences why they overline their lips when they have a perfect arch like mine. And some say, well, really, nobody has really answered me yet. So I'm going to ask again. And it's going to be like a kind of a ombre type color. Now I'm going to go in with this color. I'm not going to go in and double dip. I'm just going to use what I have. But I am going to go in. Kind of change that brownish color. So I feel like my cheeks should be more orangey than, because I, th I think it is more orangey, but I'm just going to go in with a little more, kind of dot it out. Yeah, I like that look. I 
I like that dewy look on my face. That is a really nice color. And that is my complete holiday candy inspired look. Wait for the video, full video on Sunday. I'll be posting a snip today. Thank you for watching Webcam Chronicles.